Here's highlight to what turned out to be a very tense second race at Silverstone for International GT Open. Straight away from the lead, it was the two ML3 Lamborghinis that took, the, took first and second. But into turn one, the two Teo Martin McLarens were split and then passed by the SPS Mercedes and Fabrizio Crestani into turn one. So, top five getting into the line of stern. There was plenty of passing early on, as we saw the Federica Leo and Nanji Razak Ombra racing Lamborghini past the Raton racing car. A great move around the outside, not once but twice. First of all, with, with Matt Griffin passing the Thomas Tugela, Vincenzo Suspiri racing Lamborghini into Brooklands. And out of it once again. A big dive up the inside here for Thomas Le Col, who was recovering after bringing as high as sixth, diving past Daniel Zampieri for position into the complex of the new arena section. Pit stops happen in earnest with the two Teo Martin McLarens pitting, first of all, then the two ML3 Lamborghinis. Bit of an incident between the two Mercedes here with Thomas Le Col bumping Manuel da Costa out of the way. And also a key pass here with Bites Kavissa just ahead of Duncan Cameron and Frederick Shandorf. That was the crucial pass for the Pro Am lead. It was up the inside exiting. Leftfield went through. And then on the last lap of the race, Miguel Ramos tagged the back of Martin Kodrich. We saw him tag the back of Wally Wilkinson both cars went off and despite Andres Arabia holding off Giacomo Altoe, a one second penalty for a pit stop too short gave the second win of the weekend and the fourth of the season for Giacomo Altoe and Albert Costa. What do you see? Yeah,